We're live from Sheboygan South High School's Acuity Fieldhouse. Hello, everybody. My name is Mike Martin. Joining me is the coach, Chris Wright. Chris, Sheboygan South hosting crosstown rival Sheboygan North. They lost, the Lady Red Wings did, by seven in the first game. Uh, what do you see going on tonight? Uh, very interesting game. It's very much like the last game. You got Sheboygan North that comes in very senior-oriented team that was expected to compete for a conference championship. They are doing that. You're talking about a South team that's basically a lot of juniors and sophomores. Are they one year away, or are they going to get over the hump and finally beat North and get to that upper echelon? Now, one of the things that uh, happened in the first game was North was able to turn South over over 30 times last game, and yet... South was able to hang in there, you know, only a seven-point loss. Yeah, two completely things to look about at the game tonight. For, for North, it is they got to shoot well. They didn't shoot well against South in the first game, and last Tuesday in that tough loss to the pier, they didn't shoot well either. And for Sheboygan South, number one priority on my list, control your turnovers, number one. If you want to get to that level, you got to take care of the ball, and you're going to have to handle all the traps and presses that Sheboygan North puts out there. For, for Sheboygan South, take care of the basketball. One of the things that South does offer is pretty good balance in their scoring. They've got uh, three or four kids that uh, average around seven, eight points a game. Yeah, I know. And then one of the things you're probably going to say, well, who's going to step up for them? Well, they're very team-oriented. Like you said, they have a, a whole balance of scoring. And I, I think what Emily Shaver's got nine points a game, and Sarah Salk is in there. And uh, so there's just a slew of different girls. Uh, to, to uh, shoot there and you know who's going to contribute I think they all have to contribute for them to beat North. Now for North they're led by uh, Lauren Salzbrenner averaging about 13 a little over 13 a game uh, Lizzie Free, Morgan Preece and uh, CJ all are all up there so North is no slouch either when it comes to uh, balanced scoring. Almost mirror like you know as I looked at uh, Sheboygan North is second in scoring and Sheboygan South is third and they're the same way they have a balanced group of girls to choose from both teams like to use their bench a little bit to get people to help them out and things like that and on any given night one through five can maybe lead them in scoring the other night for Sheboygan North uh, there wasn't anybody that was really pulling out the lead I know Morgan Breeze had double digits but the rest of the team really struggled I was thinking especially in the second quarter <laughs> hey one thing that surprised us in the North game was we said you know, they need to score baskets so they can set up their press, but it didn't matter. Even on misses, they were setting up the press. You think they'll do that again tonight? Yeah, they, they would. And I think one thing that happened the other night is they just kind of ran out of gas against the pier. But you're going to see the same thing tonight. Sheboygan North isn't very tall, so what they're going to do is trap and press all up and down the court. And how South handled as as I mentioned before, is important. I mean, I think they're a fun group of basketball there. One thing they didn't do the other day either, North, that is, is shoot threes very well. They take a whole bunch of shoots. Half their shots were threes, actually. So, see if they work it in a little bit more than relying so much on the three-pointer. Kind of like watching the Badgers this afternoon. Hey, before we sign off and go upstairs and start tonight's game, we need to do a little injury report, Chris. How are you doing? Uh, a little Friday basketball injury. Uh, Matt Piper, who works in the district, I think I got my foot caught underneath there, and down I went and couldn't get out of couldn't get out of bed this morning, but so I got to watch the rebrack us of Tuesday's game, but well, I be profane in me now. Chris went down, you know, and he's kinda hobbling around. Am I gonna be okay? And right away I was really concerned for him. I said, Chris, you gonna be ready for tomorrow night? Yeah, and I was no no question. It's one of those things when you get older people, you you know, you're always worried that is this gonna be the time when you break that ankle or something like that? And I probably just strained it a little or something. Some you know as I tell the players, you know, rub some dirt on it, it'll be fine. All right, with that, we're going to step out, have a couple of commercial breaks. When we come back, we'll have the uh, starting lineups and the tip-off for tonight's game. So stay tuned. Don't you just love running water? It's like a little tiny waterfall with a tiny whirlpool. Like a whirlfall. Yeah, we just made up a new word. That happened. The moment using water becomes wasting water. Majesty. It gets weird. Get normal by visiting wastingwateriswierd.com. It takes more than perfect balance. More than a great pair of legs. More than a good sword. It takes more than just talent. More than the will to win. It takes you. 
It takes your donations to support the U.S. Olympic and Paralympic teams. And now you can donate on Facebook. He's done it! The U.S. has done it! Support the U.S. Olympic team on Facebook and donate to make Olympic dreams come true. Some people might think that Adrian would never be able to go to college like his brother or achieve his dream of being an actor. We couldn't disagree more. We're the ARC, and we believe everyone should have the opportunity to realize their full potential. The ARC stands up for those in need, advocating for people with intellectual and developmental disabilities. I want to be a professional actor. So they can be anything they want to be. If you need help, or if you want to help, visit us at www.thearc.org. Have you heard? Scam artists are trying to trick seniors into giving them their Medicare number. I heard that. This happened to my friend. A man came to her door wanting to sign her up for the new Medicare program. Well, when she got her Medicare summary notice, it was full of charges for services she hadn't received. So I did something about it. I joined the Senior Medicare Patrol, where I teach others to protect their Medicare numbers, review statements to spot false charges, and report suspected we are this close. Jerura Train. We are this close. Of our mountain Making history. This close to changing the world. We are this close. We are this close. This close. So be kind to of making change. sure no child suffers a crippling disease. Ever again. This we close. are this close to ending polio. This close to ending polio. All we need is you. Is you. Is you. This close. Be a part of history at rotary.org. Never look a howler monkey in the eye. Fried ants are delicious. We finished a clinic in our in a rainstorm. Really? My students actually ended up teaching me. In La Keg, a la Keen. Think managing a sales team is tough. <laughs> Try working with five different villages. After two months, I was ready to quit, but after two years, I didn't want to leave. I didn't know I had it in me. Turn two years of service into a lifetime of experience. To all the Peace Corps volunteers, past, present, and future, thank you for your service to your country and the we're back at uh, South High School's Acuity Fieldhouse, getting ready to uh, start action. Uh, clock is rolling down. I was just looking at the uh, stat sheets from uh, the first game, and uh, North was led by C.J. Usedal. She had 20 points, just an outstanding game. Lauren Salzbrenner also had double digits. She had uh, 11. But the interesting thing about that, Chris, is only five kids scored. Uh, Free had uh, six, Bauer had seven, and... Uh, Duglopolsky only had uh, two, so not a lot of scoring people. Uh, South did a little better in that area, but uh, they lost the game 46 to 39. Uh, as you can see, the teams are lining up for the national anthem, and uh, we'll step out and uh, listen to the floor announcer.
Officials for tonight's game, we have Russ Miller, Steve Steiner, and Robert Haymauer. Mr. Haymauer will be uh, tossing up there. You get a good shot of Susie Runnis, head coach over at North, Tyler Thomas over at South, Kim Hutz, last handshake. A former player over here at South was a really awesome, awesome player. Division one, Xavier. Yep. North comes in 13 and two, nine wins, six down. Four and six in conference for South, seven and two for North. Big game for North, Chris. Uh, they need to keep winning now that they're one game behind the pier, but uh, like you had mentioned the other night, they're certainly not out of it. North controls it. Free has it on top. South in a man-to-man -man defense. Salzbrunner had it, gives it up to use it all. North uh, very patient, just like they were the other night against the pier. Well, they had a great first quarter, and then things just fell apart. Kick out pass, no shot attempt that time by uh, Free. Well, South's no slouch on D either, and they're very physical, very scrappy, and they definitely do not back down. South a little bit taller than North, and uh, that reach should help them. Salzbrunner will pop back jumper inside the top half of the circle, no good. And coming away with the rebound was Emily Schaefer. And then a turnover right away. Over to Free, she had the wide open look and didn't take it. Paris does, and her shot is no good. Good block out that time by Kara Selk. And North applying the pressure and they steal it. And Paris pulls it back out and looks for a three and nails it. Coach Thomas has just got to be Boy, they haven't gotten it across half court yet. He's just, how can this happen? We worked on this, we work on this. And right away, two quick turnovers. And another tip away. Free has it. Kicks it down to Paris. Nice bounce pass to Maddie Bauer who puts in the layup. Game one, two, Coach Thomas used all his timeouts basically on traps and things, and when he needed them, he couldn't have Another it Another steal. Paris misses a layup, but use it all gets the rebound, and that's what we talked about in that DePier game. You gotta make those easy ones. Another key factor, I think, for South is one and out. You can only, can't allow offensive rebounds and second chances for uh, North, and right there was an offensive rebound. Use it all from outside the line. Her shot is no good. Wyman coming away with the rebound. They got to get somebody in the middle of the floor, Marty, to throw the pass to around the S. A free dogging Schaefer. Schaefer, their leading scorer, she's going to get tired. Van Schluss on the drive. Couldn't get it in, but she does pick up the foul. Use it all gets called uh, for blocking. I was going to say, Emily Schaefer is going to get real tired if she has to work herself up the floor. She's the leading scorer at 9-6. Van Sluis, a sophomore, second on the team in scoring, eight and a half. The other thing, Chris, is you, know, you don't want to push her the whole game, Schaefer, but uh, as soon as you take her out, I think the level of uh, ball handling drops significantly. They're going to get a foul called on South over the back. I think it's going to go on Wyman. Yep. Kimberly a Jr. Emily Schaefer, you're one of two seniors on South squad. 
Five to one north early on. There's 5.26 remaining. I think a, a big, very quick first quarter. Yep. Well, the big keys I thought for North was are you over Tuesday? And a turnover by the Raiders. And they look good so far until that turnover. <clears throat> and a good cut in by Salzbrenner. Van Schluss is going to pick up the foul. Good anticipation by uh, Lauren. They haven't even played three minutes and there's five turnovers, Marty. <laughs> well, I think in that first contest we added about, what, two turnovers a minute? I know, well, you, I thought you'd have your stuff from last game, but... Uh, uh, I, my, I just... Well, she does have a good arm. Oh, well, she's got a great arm. Free. <clears throat> Off the glass and in. Seven to one north. And ball thrown out of bounds. Here you're going to see it. Lizzie right down Main Street. Put it up and in. Billy's in the house. Yeah, I saw him. Talking to Todd Tudis when I walked in. Todd's son Riley from last year. Salzbrenner. Good kick out pass to Bauer, but a good cover up defense. But Self commits the foul. Molly Burkhardt is coming in for uh, Selk. Good defense by Van Sluis to get out on uh, Salzbrenner. She takes it, but it's blocked by Burkhardt. Oh, North. And Van Salzbrenner puts it up and in. Good defense that time by the Raiders. And timeout, Lady Red Wings. Chris, it's pretty much what we thought might happen, at least the turnover-wise. Well, I, I kind of disagree with you, Marty. I thought South would have figured this out by now because it's very disappointing to watch. You know, you got to be able to get break the press and... Uh, they can't even get anybody open. So you got to screen people to get open. you got to flash people to the middle. Um, these kind of things you just got to take care of or it's going to get ugly and it's already 9-1. to one. South, uh, excuse me, North the first game didn't shoot very well and that's what kept South in and South was ahead at halftime, I believe. I could check that out. I know you can. It was south, 20 to 16 at halftime of the first game. A big third quarter uh, really did it for uh, the Northsiders. South only had uh, six points in that uh, pivotal third quarter. There's a bad place to be. And Double the team by North. Good idea on that. That's how you break those. You've got to split them. Nice rainbow jumper is no good. Good attempt by uh, Rachel Smith. And uh, tie up South Ball. Schaefer is going to trigger the inbounds play. Van Sluis gets by. Paris puts it up and in, and she's fouled. Nice play by Rachel. She's got all the points for the Southsiders, Chris. She's just a sophomore here. Take a look at yeah. yeah. Ducked right. her uh, shoulder down and got through. Right between there. And Sluis finishes off the three-point play. Makes it nine to four. Uh, there you, you talked about it, Chris, about getting a player in the middle of the floor. Unfortunately for uh, North, Free lost it, but the right idea. Well, they slapped at it there and got away with that one. Second turnover on North. 
North four, four buckets already in nine attempts. Cut inside, pass was attempted to uh, go, was intended to go to uh, Molly Burkhart, but it went off of her. North will get it back. Ryan Schmidt's in the house. Yeah. Didn't even look up here. <laughs> now he did. Salzbrenner kicks it out to Bauer, but she chopped her feet. And, uh, good call by uh, the official, Steve Steiner. Another turnover for North. And Sluice trying to get it across. Good double up. That's a good play. It's yeah, okay good rotation go. of the ball. You're right. right. Can always go backwards to go forward. Some people forget about that. Use the whole court. Under three minutes. And a tie up. Lizzie Free tying up uh, Kimberly Wyman. Reese has it on top, North up. There's 240 left in the first quarter. It's nine to four. Salzbrenner from outside, no good. Bauer got it back. Runner by Parise is no good. And Burkhardt with the rebound. South trying to run the break. Didn't see that much, Chris. Well, it's a good idea so they can't get into the press, but you gotta take care of the ball. Paris again uh, shuffling the feet. In the South's last game, they beat Green Bay East 81 to 18. And uh, the first time the two teams met, there's the same circumstances. They had crushed East. North had lost to De Pere. Same thing happening again tonight. North uh, lost to De Pere at home. We covered that game, but uh, South a big winner over East, and uh, we're at the North South game. Picked up her pivot foot, Marty. Yeah. Good double up. So now that time, Erica Trum, number four, who just checked in. She was in the middle of the floor, but unfortunately, couldn't get her the ball. Paris setting up the offense. Salzbrenner down the lane, up and in. It's two of five tonight shooting. Lauren struggled on Tuesday. Leading scorer at 13-7 again. A good shot of that uh, layup attempt. And another turnover by South. One thirty-five remaining in the first quarter. Free has it on top. Use it all hasn't been heard from yet, Chris. What was that? But I think she might now. <laughs> might be now. It's 11 to 6. Excuse me, it's 11 to 4, not 9 to 6. It's 11 to 4 in uh, favor of North. Ooh, I could hear you all of a sudden. If I wasn't standing right next to you, I couldn't hear a word you're saying, actually. Oh, really? It's not coming out of my mic, no. I can't hear you. Well, you say the important stuff. It's not important to hear me. <laughs> oh, use it all. Missed the, re missed the free throw, but uh, Paris came away with it. Now use it all is going to crank up a three. Bauer, good hustle, but has it ripped away by Ben Sluice. It'll be a tie up south, will get it back. Well, my first three things for south were handle the press and traps, you're not doing that. Limit your turnovers, you're not doing that. And one, on a, one and out and control the uh, boards, you're not doing that. That's why you're down 12 to four. 
Foul on North. Only their second foul of the quarter. And Sluis. Nice pass. Ooh. Yeah, the good idea, but uh, not a good enough catch. Wyman missed that one. Boy, I thought that was a good idea. Well, what I think is if you can't handle the ball, you're not going to run the break very often where you're successful. Salzbrenner. Yeah, she should have taken a shot. Oh, it is a left-handed layup. <laughs> Senior. Uh-oh. <laughs> Want to play college ball? You better make left-handed layups. Go to the rack. Like that one. Oh, no, she shot it with the right hand. <laughs> but if she would have shot it with the left, she might have had two points. Balls on Burkhardt. Salzbrunner leads all scorers with five. Another free throw. North by ten. That's better. Much better. Selk in the middle of the floor there, then she can direct, go either way, or take it up the, the middle there. Wyman with a nice catch. Kicks it out to Burkhardt. Her shot is uh, rainbow is short. Pick and roll action. Nothing going there. South with good defense. Salzbrenner's shot is no good. And a good save that time by Kara Selk. And Sluis trying to pass it to a teammate under the basket but threw it away. Another turnover by the Southsiders. 11.3 seconds left. It's been uh, pretty much all north here in the first quarter. Tugopolski in the ball game for... Uh, the Lady Raiders. Use it all, cranks it at the buzzer. No good, and we're at the end of one quarter of play. North on top, 14 to four. Don't you just love running water? It's like a little tiny waterfall with a tiny whirlpool. Like a whirlfall. Yeah, we just made up a new word. That happened. The moment using water becomes wasting water. Majesty. It gets weird. Get normal by visiting wastingwaterisweird.com. Back at uh, Salt High School's Acuity Fieldhouse, where uh, the Golden Raiders, Lady Raiders, lead it 14 to uh, four. Leading scorers in that first quarter was uh, Lauren Salzbrenner with six, and uh, Rachel Van Sluis with uh, four for North, for South, pardon me. You want your interesting stats? South, one of three shooting. That's because they had 14 turnovers. Oh, man. That's uh, not gonna get it done. 
Good back cut by Usedal, but uh, Fee not taking the chance. Matty Bauer from 12, no good. And a good save by C.J. Paris. Had her shot blocked and out of bounds. North will keep it. North not shooting well again there, 5 of 17. Paris uh, taking a look inside, but uh, good defense played in there by Molly Burkhart. Not Watch, uh, with not, I was going to say, not shooting well, but you're still up by 10. Yeah, really. It's amazing how that works when you keep the other team from even taking a shot. Right. Turnover has created so many more opportunities. Well, Got to be more aware who's around you there. Yeah, that was not good. Good trap. Good skip pass. Burkhart shot. Rolls in. First two points for Molly. Kugopolsky's pass is uh, tipped out of bounds. There you see a replay of uh, Molly's shot. Good hustle there by Selk, knocking that one away. I was going to say, watch uh, Dugopolsky when she dribbles. She's got a little bit of Ivan in her. Oh, <laughs> By the way, we talked a couple of games ago about not calling on Fridays the uh, carry of the ball when they're dribbling. Well, we got Ivan on that a couple <laughs> weeks ago. And it was a good call, too. Because you made it? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Ivan lives. Yeah, we had a bunch of people playing old players last night. Peter Wirth and... Uh Andy Kautzer. Yeah, it's nice to see Kautzer here. And tipped out of bounds by South. Good defense by Salzbrenner. Of course, Aubrey Koistra who played here as well. Yeah. Good good ball players. Aubrey and Andy and Peter. By the way, in all seriousness, it was nice to see you were able to come back in and finish that last game. <laughs> When Chris went to sit out, I sat out with him. Like well, I know a good partner go, would. I know you want to get <laughs> so back in. Just wanted to make sure you were going to be ready for tonight. <laughs> Aubrey goes, don't, you don't have to be a hero. <laughs> <laughs> North again being very patient on the offense. Paris on a spin move. Had her shot blocked. Dugapolsky. Shortest kid underneath the basket. Put it up and in. There's an extra opportunity on another offensive rebound for North. Free on the interception. Takes it right to the rack and puts it up and in. Oh, and another turnover. Bauer with a miss. And a, another tie up. Arrow points south way, so they'll get it back. Rachel Smith back in and uh, Megan... Bellinger in the game for uh, North. Making her first appearance. Watch Thomas on this, just decided to sit down and see if these girls can work through it. Nobody in the middle of the floor, but there is a chance for Smith. A good hustle that time. Dugapolsky again getting back on the D. She's quick. That's the key there is if you want to trap it, you'll give up that long pass, but you better sprint back. And because of the sprint back, created the turnover by Smith. Free has it on top, closely guarded. She better do something with it. Salzbrenner sees an opening, takes it right to the middle, and had a good layup attempt, but missed it again. That's two missed layups by North. And we're going to get a foul. Just not handling the ball, Chris. Self picks up her second personal. Usadol trying to get back in the game, and she will. Luka Polsky coming out. Susie Runnis real happy with her uh, stint on the floor. Yeah, defensive rebound and a basket. Good hustle in the corner by the girls. 
himself, however, uh, touched it last. It's been a pretty quick half of basketball. Lob pass in to use it all. And then another whistle. North will be shooting. It's 420 left in the in the first half. And that is the seventh team foul on South. Smith picks up that foul. And North will be shooting. Use it all was one for two her last trip to the line. Wyman got the rebound. Oh. Tipped by Norris and no over and back. And then a foul call. I think Tyler Thomas was ready to call a timeout again. I think he was going to ask for a foul and then he got one. I think the foul came earlier and then they tried to double there, they called it right away. Burkhardt has it, guarded by Usadol. Drive to the hoop by Schaefer is no good. Wyman with the rebound, turnaround putback is no good. Burkhardt with another offensive rebound. South dominating on the boards this trip. Wyman's hook shot is blocked, but uh, they're going to get Bellinger with a uh, personal foul. Good effort there by Kimberly. Very rare chances for them with second opportunity rebounds. As a matter of fact, those were the first two for them for South. But look what happened when it worked. You got a chance to score. So good effort by those ladies. South two for four on their free throw shooting so far in half. With that free throw, South is now three for five, which is exactly what North is in the first half free throw shooting. Interesting uh, set of circumstances there, Chris, with uh, use it all breaking the press. Yep. Free, driving down the lane, couldn't get it, and gets called for an offensive foul. Six turnover on North. And a second foul on uh, Free. I think she's going to be checking out. Paris comes in for her. Cammie Feld is in for uh, South, replacing Selk. Selk has, uh, well, Burkhardt has two and Selk has two. Burkhardt is still on the floor, and there you see Kimberly Wyman. There we go. Patience, you got time. There you go, good job, perfect. Paris a little late, had the right idea and then picks off the uh, pass back to the corner. Salzbrenner with a pop back. Three point attempt is no good. And Bellinger had it, lost it, but use it all gets it back. Hey, they're hustling. <laughs> Not always getting a lot done, but they are running around out there. And there's a timeout by North with a 3:12 remaining. It's going to be a 30-second timeout, so we'll keep it here. Following this game, we'll have the uh, boys' game. Looking forward to doing that. In uh, action earlier. On Thursday, Sheboygan North's freshman team beat South, and this afternoon, Sheboygan North's uh, JV team beat uh, South. So the girls are looking for the sweep from North. Bayport leads the league. They are 10 and 1, Marty. Well, actually, after last night, I'm not sure what happened last night, but uh, then De Piers got a, one loss, but and Preble's got two losses. Notre Dame three, and North has two. Uh, going into this week, Sheboygan North was ranked seventh in the state. Now that's before they he lost to the Pier. The Pier was fifteenth. Bayport was ranked fourth in the state, and North had beat Bayport already. That's interesting. Notre Dame is also ranked in Division Two. They are number ten. So the they're at two. They're in Division Two, huh? Yep. Oh, good back screen. Paris got wide open, put it in, and then she's fouled after the shot. 
by Burkhart. See if they call it an after the shot foul. Should or be. It should be, you're right. For Burkhardt, that's number three though. And, and that was just yep. a Watch silly it. foul. There's a good back screen by Bauer. Why, why foul there? This is a one and one, Chris. They did call the foul after the shot. So it could be a four point play for the Northsiders. That's the correct call, but uh, it wasn't explained correctly to the uh, players. <laughs> 21 to seven, it's been all north the first half. Coming away with the rebound was Feld. Schaefer over to Van Sluis. Rachel's pass is tipped away, but uh, as as Paris made the catch, she uh, came down and was on the line. 2.47 remaining until halftime. There's a good shot of uh, Cami Feld. Ooh, that's uh, pretty dangerous when you're swinging the elbows like that. Bellinger. That's a travel. Whoops. Good hustle on the defense. I think it was Van Sluis coming up from behind. Cheyenne Welsh. She's the other yeah, senior. Yeah, I was just going to say that. Yeah, too much dribble, dribble. And a tie up. You know, I like to uh, add a rule to the uh, Federation. I think all held balls should go to the defense. Just like pickup ball. Because you've earned, earned it by getting that, instead of this alternating possession thing. Use it all on the old hook shot, but fouled. So I'm going to write That's them. That's uh, not necessarily a bad idea. Welsh officially in the book, Chris, committing the foul. Ninth team foul for South. Use it all's had her troubles at the line. She was one for two. Her second trip, she was 0 for one, and now this trip, uh, 0 for her first free throw. Ooh, ugly. Wyman with her fourth rebound. And another turnover by the Southsiders. Salzbrenner right down the middle. Oh, she got called for the Ivan. Well, yeah, yeah. she lifted it. And when she hesitated, she got it stuck up top and uh, the turnover. The Ivan bitter. 23 turnovers on South. Schaefer bounces it on the line. You know, they get the double team so quick, and uh, Schaefer's not able to dribble out of it, and uh, it's almost like you catch the ball, you gotta maybe throw it right back to the inbounder. Correct. You know, that might help. Because the inbounder is not being guarded for the most part, and is right. usually open. Yeah, normally the inbounder kind of is the trail, well, I used to have him as a trailer. Uh, use it all, can't catch the ball. Another turnover by North. Good play by Lauren Salzbrenner. Van Sluis takes it to the basket. Got a good look, but couldn't get it in. And then uh, use it all commits a foul on Wyman. One fifty-seven remaining. Uh, seven team foul. Wyman will be shooting one and one. They were ready to give it to uh, South out of bounds. South, two of seven shooting for the game, Marty. And we're under Say that minutes. again? Two of seven shooting. Wow. You know, I can start to go through withdrawal when I only get seven shots. <laughs> Imagine a whole team. <laughs> Wyman shows them how it's done. But 
The North student body right in front of us, off to our right. A lot of wide open seats here, Marty. Yeah, well, it's, it's early. Uh, I don't know. Salzbrenner we'll traveled. Take, yep. No, 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 no. Yes, that's the correct call. Good job. Yep. Good job by the crew there. Russ Miller saying, no, no, I got that. That was the right, right situation there. Now, right back to the inbounder. Uh, well, they got a chance. Selk, a good job that time, not putting the ball on the deck, but then uh, Smith throws it away instead. Oy, oy, oy. It's been a while since we had our uh, last point. From north, anyway, South got a free throw from uh, Wyman just a little bit ago. Paris from outside the line just glances on the rim, but uh, Bellinger uh, dribbled it out of bounds after she got the offensive rebound. So does she get an offensive rebound and a turnover? I'm giving it to her. Get her to that stat. Paris bounces it over to Bauer for two. Good teamwork. And another turnover. Losing the ball was Vance Luce. Ooh, right off the face of Bauer. Good hustle by Wyman to get back on defense. Under a minute left, Burkhardt coming in. Lauren File also coming in here. You see, watch, boink, right off the Kanagan. Good replay there, guys. 13 turnovers on North, too. They've had 10 in the quarter, so North not taking care of the basketball either. And a travel called on Van Sluis. It was either going to be that or Dugapolsky would have got the uh, tie up. And according to Chris's rule, the defense gets it. It's just an idea. Ooh, reach by Smith called a foul, and that'll be her second. 40 seconds left. You know, the game started off uh, moving pretty well, but I'll tell you this uh, last part of this uh, second quarter is uh, really dragged on with uh, the fouling and the turnovers and the like. Dukopolski now has three points, Chris. Ball tipped away. And North has it back. Bellinger down the lane, kicks it out. Dugapolsky, the left-hander with the rainbow, couldn't get it in. Good rebound by File, and uh, Smith on the runner couldn't get it in. And then she picks up another foul with 18.6 seconds remaining. That'll be her third. Smith and Burkhart each sitting with uh, three fouls and they're both on the court. Smells like danger to me, Chris. Keeping those players in with those fouls. Yeah, yeah well they, they're on offense though, so that should be okay. Hopefully, as long as they don't, you know, go over the back or something if they miss their shot. Under 10. File has it. Three, two. Smith at the buzzer. Couldn't get it in. And we're at halftime here at South High School's Acuity Fieldhouse with the uh, Lady, Ra Lady Raiders on top, 25 to 8.
Don't you just love running water? It's like a little tiny waterfall with a tiny whirlpool. Like a whirlfall. Yeah, we just made up a new word. That happened. The moment using water becomes wasting water. Majesty. It gets weird. Get normal by visiting wastingwateriswierd.com. It takes more than perfect balance. More than a great pair of legs. More than a good sword. It takes more than just talent. More than the will to win. It takes you. It takes your donations to support the U.S. Olympic and Paralympic teams. And now you can donate on Facebook. He's done it! The U.S. has done it! Support the U.S. Olympic team on Facebook and donate to make Olympic dreams come true. Some people might think that Adrian would never be able to go to college like his brother or achieve his dream of being an actor. We couldn't disagree more. We're the ARC, and we believe everyone should have the opportunity to realize their full potential. The ARC stands up for those in need, advocating for people with intellectual and developmental disabilities. I want to be a professional actor. So they can be anything they want to be. If you need help, or if you want to help, visit us at www.thearc.org. Have you heard? Scam artists are trying to trick seniors into giving them their Medicare numbers. I heard that. This happened to my friend. A man came to her door wanting to sign her up for the new Medicare program. Well, when she got her Medicare summary notice, it was full of charges for services she hadn't received. So I did something about it. I joined the Senior Medicare Patrol, where I teach others to protect their Medicare numbers, review statements to spot false charges, and report suspected we are this close. Jodhura Train. We are this close. A form entity. Making history. This close to changing the world. We are this close. We are this close. This close. This close to making sure no child suffers a crippling disease. Ever again. We close. are this close to ending polio. This close to ending polio. All we need is you. Is you. Is you. This close. Be a part of history at rotary.org. Back at South High School's of Cutie Fieldhouse, I'll give you some halftime scoring. First for South, it's pretty easy. Rachel Van Schloos had the first four points for the Lady Red Wings. She has four. Kimberly Wyman hit a couple of free throws in the second quarter for two. And Molly Burkhart had a basket in the second quarter for two, and that's the eight points for a South. <coughs> Excuse me. For uh, the Northsiders, Morgan Priest led all scorers with seven. Lauren Salzbrenner has six. Maddie Bauer, four. Lizzie Free also had four. Connor Dugapolsky off the bench had three points, provided a lot of energy. And CJ Usadol had one point to uh, round out the uh, Raiders scoring with, uh, they have 25. Our next game will be right after this one when the boys from... Uh, Sheboygan South host their crosstown rival, Sheboygan North. Uh, that should be a good game. Uh, the next game for uh, Sheboygan North girls will be on Tuesday when they go up to Manitowoc to play there. Sheboygan South will be in town on Tuesday playing Green Bay Preble. Uh, we will not be covering either of those games, but uh, I'd like to see the fans come out and watch that game. Also, if you're watching at home, there's plenty of room over here at the uh, South High Acuity Fieldhouse. Uh, we hope it's not going to be a disappointing game for or disappointing crowd for both games. We'd like to see more of you out here. So if you're just sitting at home, Tom Fritch, get your butt out of the house and come on over. Say hi too, by the way. There's a little over uh, five and a half minutes left in halftime. Uh, we're going to take a short break and we come back. We'll have some entertainment from the band. To making history. This close to changing the world. We are this close. We are this close. This close kind to of making sure no child suffers a crippling disease. Ever again. This we close. are this close to ending polio. This close to ending polio. All we need is you. Is you. 
this close. Be a part of history at rotary.org. Never look a howler monkey in the eye. Fried ants are delicious. We finished a clinic in our, in our rainstorm. Really? My students actually ended up teaching me. In La Keg, a la Keen. Think managing a sales team is tough. <laughs> Try working with five different villages. After two months, I was ready to quit, but after two years, I didn't want to leave. I didn't know I had it in me. Turn two years of service into a lifetime of experience. To all the Peace Corps volunteers, past, present, and future, thank you for your service to your country and the I'm Owen Yeoman for Peter. I used to eat a lot of meat. Like a lot of people, I never really gave it much thought. But then I saw how violently animals raised for food are treated, and I didn't want to support that. The fact that the meat on my plate was once a living, breathing creature became something I could no longer ignore or justify as food. So I stopped eating meat, just like that. And my body and my conscience feel healthier for it. I'm Owen Yeoman, and I'm a vegetarian. I've got my own problems to worry about. Those people in Africa don't want to help themselves. What's the point? Where's the proof? Actually, smart programs are saving lives. In just 10 years, over 15 million more kids are alive. All plus than 1% of the total U.S. budget. How's that for proof? And today, there are new vaccines that could save millions of more kids. Go to one.org and join the movement. We're not asking for your money. We're asking for your voice. we had more pictures of the tuba players because I think they carry it you know because they obviously got the biggest instruments that's what I know about band that's uh Did you, were you in the band uh no I was uh, in the choir okay I was in actually when I was in high school they had a group called Northman it was uh, like a boys glee club kind of thing and uh I actually got to sing a solo in one of the concerts only one though yeah <laughs> I wish I you know as a, when you get older you wish you would have played an instrument you know, just, uh, I just think it's neat to watch, you know, trumpet players and watch the yeah. Badger Band and yeah, things like that. Yeah, they talk about cuts to education, and usually it starts in your specials like music and yeah. art and, and those kinds of uh, activities, Phi Ed. But I think music is probably as important a uh, subject as any yep. in terms of learning to read and, and concentrate and uh, yep. that kind of thing. And there's lots of fields to go. I mean, there's, you know, plays to perform in and... You know, there's musical jobs too, musical teachers and whatnot. Well, just starting off second half action, uh, South almost not able to get the ball in, but they did. Selk uh, had to sit out quite a bit with her uh, foul issues. It's 25 to eight. Schaefer, the old scoop shot, got it up and in. South now three of 10 on the, on the game. They do have those 26 turnovers. They gotta clean that up if they want any chance. And uh, North did what you had talked about, Chris. Use it all, got in the middle. She got the ball, and uh, well, North is running your half-court offense. North just still not shooting very well. They're 9 of 27, 1 for 6 from 3. They had, I was wrong, they had 9 turnovers in that quarter. They have 12 in the game. North again being patient on offense. Jeff Kick Menning out here. pass. Wait for his son to be playing the next game. Oh, use it all with a good save. Threw it right off the foot of Rachel Smith. North will keep it on this end. Anton Churchill helping us out a little bit here. Thank Anton for that. Parise's shot is no good. And Selk with the rebound. Or third. Oh, Vance loose with the walk. That was an easy call. Ooh, ooh, ooh. K 
Taking it right to the hoop was uh, Lauren Salzbrenner. She gets fouled. Almost looked like it could have been a charge, too. Yeah, I thought Smith had pretty good position there. But uh, we're a little bit up here, so official right there on that play. And Sluice picks up the foul. That's her second. Salzbrenner will be on the line shooting a pair. Just joining us, North 13 and two, North nine and six. North was still a chance for a conference championship, but they're gonna need some help. Somebody's gonna have to bump off Bayport and somebody's gonna have to bump off De Pere. Uh, Bayport does have to play Preble and De Pere yet both, so that's a chance there. And uh, maybe they can beat each other up and then North can still squeeze in there. North, seven out of 15 on their free throws, Chris. They were uh, seven, six out of 13 in the first half. Good job on the press break. Make it and count. Nice pass to Burkhart. She puts it up and in. Who says they can't run the break? Very nicely done on that press break. Power loads it up from outside the line, and she pops in a three. That's the second three for North. They're now two of seven from out there. Maddie 205 on the night. Here's it all playing the good D. Schaefer loses it out of bounds. North will get it back. Tyler Thomas talking to uh, Robert Hamor on the bottom of your screen. Job by Lizzie to break the press again. Use it all loading it up from outside the line. Her shot is no good, but she's going to get fouled by Selk and will be shooting free throws. Make to see a replay on that if we can. I Never took my eyes away from the shooter. shooter. Yeah, <laughs> you got that right. That's one of my pet peeves. Never foul a jump shooter. Well, she wasn't really a set jump shooter, but... Uh, she did leave her feet after she launched it. She's over 20 feet from the basket. Can we check the replay? Is that what we're going to see here? Checking out who committed the foul. I think it was going to be called on Selk. If it is, it's going to be uh, Kara's uh, third. It is. Yeah, it was on Selk. And use it all, shooting three. And she had her troubles in the first half. One for two, one for three, one for four, one for five. Well, she's just 45% on the year, Marty. Well, she should be making more than one for six then. Does lead uh, the team in uh, rebounds with 87. She also has 31 steals this year. Ooh, that's pretty impressive. Well, she knocked home the last two. She looked really good on those two. It's 31 to 12. And ball is thrown off of uh, Salzbrenner. Salt will keep it. There you see Justin Bingham. He's a Friday player with us. Yeah. We miss him. He's helping out Coach JV girls. Oh. Which way? Are you going to get a blocking foul on Salzbrenner? Now, Lauren just about got there, but she didn't. Right idea. Just got to get there a little quicker. First foul on Lauren. 540 here in the third quarter been all north and that's oh. why north rotated up and made it a real difficult catch but it left Burkhardt open underneath and uh, Wyman not able to make a good pass nice a good pass and then Boy. Salzbrenner misses a wide open layup I mean that's just shouldn't happen Use it all hard to the basket. Can't get it in. They're going to say no shot anyway. Call the foul on Burkhart. North will get it out of bounds. 
Emphasis there on uh, hard to the basket. I thought she took it with authority. She did. Just like you did last night, except she didn't sprain her ankle. I don't, uh, that, was, that really wasn't a take to the basket, was it? I was taking Mr. Piper out. <laughs> <laughs> Paris. Morgan Paris with a three, her second three of the night. There's a nice replay. 34-12. to 12. Well, Morgan Priest came over to help, but then uh, didn't do a very good job of playing defense. Van Sluis went right to the basket anyway. Calls on Bauer. Well, Burkhardt with a good move, set the screen and then opened up and uh, was wide open for the pass. South three of three in the quarter. She leads South with uh, six points. Salzbrenner got that one to roll in. Nine points for uh, Lorne. Schaefer being hounded by Salzbrenner. Her shot off the glass is no good. Van Sluis around and off, and Paris with a nice rebound. Rolling down to the four-minute mark of the third quarter, North up by 22. And Van Sluis fighting through the screen, literally. Her third coming in for uh, the South Sider is, is, is Erica Trum. Schaefer taking a rest. Oop, tapped out of bounds by Use It All. Good defense that time by uh, Kara Selk. 13th turnover on North. South uh, breaking the press that time in good fashion. Selk loads it up from three-point land but can't get it in. North on a bust out. Bauer! Put it up and in and is fouled. Nice pass from uh, Salzbrenner. And there you see it again. Much better quarter for shooting for North. They're four of six now. Which makes them 13 of 33 in the ball game. Wyman committing her second foul. She shoots 60% from the free throw line. Makes that one. 39 to 12. Ooh, <laughs> good clear out that time. A little dipsy and a do. And yeah. get in there. She took away the dipsy and put it in on the doodle that time. Selk on the basket and then a timeout by uh, Tyler Thomas. Long, no, I think it's a 30 seconder. Full. Full timeout. We'll take a short break and be right back. I've been on the street for a while. I've been on the street for a while. I saw your post our site. I saw your post our site. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. National Runaway Switchboard, how can I help? Call 1-800-RUNAWAY to make the connection. Back at uh, South High School's Acuity Fieldhouse, uh, Sheboygan North, 39, and Chibogan South, 16. Minor problem of spelling. Ooh! 
Selk a little bit late, matter of fact, a lot late, and that's going to be her fourth foul. Coach Thomas doesn't even hesitate with that. Fourth foul, going to keep Sarah in there. Good back cut by Bauer. She puts it off the glass and in. Bauer with uh, five quick points. She has 12 on the night. Almost a steal. Selk got it back. Good job. Yeah, nice kiss off the glass by Burkhardt. Good jump stop. Use that backboard. She has eight. Paris, bang the old baby. Very well done by North there. Got it to the middle, then over to Bellinger, and then Paris with the wide open shot. Good passing against the press. Find a wide open person, and she nails the three. You know the other thing? The ball didn't touch the floor. Very good point, Marty. Very well done by North. And Sluice taking it to the rack. Shot is up and in, and she's fouled. Rachel Van Sluice. South doing a much better job in the uh, third quarter here. They only have three t turnovers, which really have cleaned it up. And, you know, they're putting up baskets here. And, you know, if, this, if you could do this for four quarters, I mean, you can hang with the big, big girls in the league. Van Sluis not able to uh, finish off the three-point play. Sneaking in the ball game when we weren't uh, looking was Katie Suntag. And then Saul throws it away again. There's Katie. Under two minutes. Bellinger's shot was back, blocked by uh, Van Sluis on a good play. And, ooh. Van Sluis throws it off of uh, Morgan Paris. South will keep it. Back cut, but the ball is tipped by uh, Lizzie Free. And then uh, Sonnentag was not able to uh, gather it in. It's going to be South's ball. 120 left in the quarter. Use it all is going to come in. You, know, you look at the foul situation here, Chris. Four, three, two, four, three. South is uh, in trouble. Yep. Oh, also in trouble on the scoreboard, too, down by 24. Selk with a three. Mayor, first, last, go ahead, Mark. Is that the first three by? Yep. No, yes, that is their first three. I think it's the first one I've got marked yep. down on my sheet. Freeze uh, driving layup attempt is no good. Under a minute. Wyman had the ball tipped away by Use It All. And then we get a foul on Wyman. No, I think you got a timeout, Marty. 30 second timeout on North. Okay, 30 second timeout it is. We'll keep it right here. Yeah, that was South's first three there. One of five now from out there. I think the most telling stat was the one you gave in the first quarter when you said they had only gotten seven shots. I mean, you know, you don't get enough attempts. I mean, it's bad enough when you can't shoot very good, but at least if you're getting a lot of shots. Yeah, well, they got 11 shot attempts in the quarter here, Marty, and they've made uh, seven of them, so. That's pretty good. There's seven of 11, where in the first half, they only got nine shots off in the whole half, and they were two of nine, so. It all balances out. 
Except you're still down 21. Yeah, you got to take care of the basketball a little bit better. Thing is, North starting uh, to heat I up. I disagree too. with you there. They got to take care of the ball a lot better. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Burkhart's going to get her fifth foul. Well, she only rode her from about half court before they called it. Ooh, I missed one on her. I'll give her five then. That's all for Molly. Molly had eight points. She actually uh, didn't start tonight, but uh, did a real nice job off the bench. Cheyenne Welsh is going to come in for her. She ended up four of six shooting and had a couple of rebounds. She provided some spark in the uh, second quarter. Oh, she's three for three in this quarter. Wow, even more of a spark. What the caller, Sparky. Lizzie, 70% from the free throw line, but misses that one. Nice going, coach. <laughs> oh, another tie up. Possession arrow points south way, so they'll keep it. Now, if we had Chris Rule in play, Go to the defense. We would go to the defense. Just a suggestion. And they're going to say it belongs to North because they forgot to flip the arrow. So North will get it. Thirty-three seconds left. Good help defense by Van Sluis. Salzbrenner drives hard to the basket and gets fouled. Rachel's going to pick up her fourth. North has gotten to the line a lot tonight. This will be the eighth free throw of the quarter. Unfortunately, they've only made four of seven so far. She's a 71% shooter from that free throw line. Made that one. Leads the team with 62 steals. Lauren, that is. Ooh. A little too hot to handle. Now the turnovers are mounting again. All of a sudden, things aren't going so good for South. Rolling down, almost the end of the quarter, 15 seconds left. And uh, Lizzie didn't play that very good, Chris. She dribbled right into the double team. Yep, and into the wrong corner. Yeah, and then she got, well, she got bailed out by yep. the foul, but still. Bad place to be. You should cross over and take it to the middle of the floor because you can use the uh, middle of the floor or the midcourt line for uh trap and the sideline and you got two players there and you are in trouble. So she caught a break here by getting fouled but she didn't make the free throw. That's Kimberly's. 10 seconds. That's her ninth rebound, Kimberly's. Wyman had it tipped away. I think it was Salzbrenner. 5.2 seconds left. Dugopolsky back in. Free is going to get a little bit of a breather here. A long night for the Lady Red Wings. Trum. No good. Shot is blocked. And that's the end of three quarters of play with uh, Sheboygan North on top. 45-23. Best sex I've ever had. The details are kind of fuzzy, but I know it started off in the kitchen because there were definitely mashed potatoes involved. Her leg was like here, and her head was like here. I still don't know how a human body could do that. I think she used to be in a circus or something. But the most important part about the best sex I've ever had was that it was consensual and it was protected. Very crazy three days, though. <laughs>
One of the healthiest and most popular activities a family can do together is hiking. Speaking of health, this year the U.S. Departments of Agriculture and Health and Human Services issued an advisory urging all Americans to eat seafood twice a week for heart health. Environmentally speaking, it's best to choose seafood that's low on the food chain, like brizzling sardines, mackerel, or rockfish. To keep the environment beautiful, observe outdoor ethics, leave no trace, and help keep America beautiful. Back at South High School's Acuity Fieldhouse, getting ready to start fourth quarter action. There you see it north up by 22. They've, uh, they've had it in control the entire game. And Bellinger is going to pick up a silly foul. Be her third. third. Well, good third quarter shooting for North. Seven for 10, three for three from outside the arc. They're now 16 for 37 in the ball game. South 9 of 21 shooting. Oh boy. Ping pong action. Goes off a South player last. Salzbrenner has 10 points for uh, North. She's on the court. Van Sluis has 6 for South. She's their leading scorer on the court. Salzbrenner's shot is no good, but she is fouled. Well, North's going to go to 14 and 2. 8 and 2, if they hang on here. South will fall to 4 and 7, 9 and 6. 9 and 7, excuse me. See a lot of these girls next year for South. File back in, Feld also back in. Trump also on the floor, Van Sluis. And Welsh, a couple of free throws. North is now 16 for 24. I think it's maybe time to take the press off, Marty. And I think they got the game in hand. Yep, and that just caused easy fouls there. You're up by 24. You know, also can cause some hard feelings. Trum with the left hand. Gotta like that. Oh, Sonatag not able to catch that ball. Grease and free back in. South has 10 fouls. North will be shooting two the rest of the quarter. North has committed only five team fouls. And if I'm remembering correctly, at least two have been uh, really pretty silly. Should not, should not have been made. Whoa, I was open. Trump, around and out. Free uh, getting called for the travel. Rachel Smith in. And Rachel Van Sluis out. So we got Rachel for Rachel. Ooh, not a good pass there. North, Salzbrenner. She feels pretty comfortable with that right hand, Chris. Another steal. And Free is going to go to the line to shoot two. Trump picks up her first. I agree with you, Chris. I don't see any reason why we should still be pressing. Kind of reminds me of a coach I played against when I was coaching out at Kohler. 
Well, I understand they do, you know, that's their philosophy is to press all the time, but you can just play half court too. There's a little Red Wing fan. <laughs> she handles that rattler a little better than the girls handle the basketball, I think. 50 to 25. Third rebound for Feld. Oh boy. See, Lutheran got a big win the other night. Yeah, down at half last night, but still picked up the win against a very tough Howard's Grove squad. Use it all showing a good strength to get the shot up as she was fouled. She'll go to the line to shoot a pair. Use it all had 20 in the first game. She's uh, been held in check this game, only has three. You got to imagine. Uh, Tyler Thomas talked a little bit about her and how they're going to defense her. And it's worked, but uh, not against the rest of the squad. Well, the boys will be coming up about 25 minutes after. Have a couple uh, interviews, hopefully, with uh, winning girls. Yeah, we look forward to that. Our next uh, broadcast after tonight Thursday. is going to be uh, Thursday when North. Manitowoc comes to town to play uh, Sheboygan North. Uh, South will be uh, on the road that night over at Preble. And use it all on the line to shoot a pair. Well, she actually did miss the first one. Off the glass and in for North is Erin Maletsky, her first two points. Yep, you got to call the travel there. Oh, well. Carly Wyman in for a South. She's number 21, and Taylor Dahlman, number 30, in for North. Those girls seeing their first action of the night. Aaron Maletsky just scored a basket, uh, just came in not too long ago. Salzbrenner to the rack, high off the glass. It's no good, but she is fouled. A lot of trips to the free throw line by the Northsiders. After these two foul shots, they'll have 28 free throws on the night. Right now they're 18 for 27. Well, North shooting very well, Marty. They started the half the half. They were shooting 33%, but now they're 18 for 39. Another turnover, though. Uh, risky pass. Tapped out by South. Natalie Kukla, number 14 in. Emily Schaefer coming back in for uh, the Lady Red Wings. Six minutes, 6.01 to be exact, remaining in the ball game. Maletsky turns back to the baseline for the shot. Couldn't get it in. File playing the good D. Might not see a hit that good tomorrow. <laughs> Get Maletsky on the foul. Yeah. 16 foul on North. She had to feel that one. File has it. Muscles her way in and off the glass and in. Nice shot by Lauren File. Whoa, airmail that one. Kukla showing the good arm. 
Now is not the time to show off the arm. And Kukla commits a foul. Not a good run here by Natalie. Schaefer will be shooting the one and one. Emily's had a tough night looking for her uh, third point. She had a basket in the first half. Check that early in the third quarter. There's a good shot. Emily. That's just the way you taught it at Wiz Kids, right, Chris? Yep. Deep knee bend, take the breath. Yep. Routine, it's all about routine. Five minutes left. You take the play by play the last five minutes, I'll take the, the color. Oh, that, my <laughs> numbers are all gonna get messed up. <laughs> all right, we'll keep it the way it is. Just thought it'd be a good change of pace. <laughs> We could, the numbers. <laughs> I can't do that there. stuff, but you do. You do a good job with that. I won't be watching and <laughs> miss something. <laughs> it's nice that Chris Hine came out for the uh, boys' south game a couple weeks ago to help out. Yeah, he did a nice job. Yep, talk to him. He says he's got to always can fall back on that in a couple 20 years when he quits his football job. Oh, a jump ball. Wow. A lot of contact. I don't know how long I'd want to have uh, Lizzie Free and Bauer out there either. Nice. Don't want to pick up an injury or something. You're up by 25. Like roll an ankle or something like me. Yeah, really. <laughs> Although the game was still in question when you went down. <laughs> Free on a nice drive. Couldn't get it in. But taking it hard to the basket. Two of three tonight, Lizzie. Erica Trump picked up the foul. Second best uh, free throw shooter, Lizzie, on the team. Just a percentage point behind Salzbrenner. There's Chris Lenz, Jeff Wigdahl. Working on the shoelace. Yep. Chris Lenz, the uh, athletic trainer for uh, North. Helps out on the uh, softball team as well. Three knocks home a pair. She has seven points on the night. It's 56, 29. Cross court pass the file and she got it. She has another two points. Coach Thomas with a timeout, Marty. Another quick timeout. Uh, I don't know what you tell them here, but uh, keep playing hard, really. You know, play smart. I remember uh, when uh, Chilton had the really good teams, you know, when they won the state in 86. And uh, there were a few games where, uh, you know, we had the other team beat, and uh, Jim Eisner would just get... Uh, very upset with the boys when they wouldn't go out and play hard, play smart, you know, run the patterns, that kind of thing. And uh, I think that's, you know, what you tell your girls, you know, play it out. Yep, don't look at the scoreboard. Still want to do things the correct way. North. 427 left. I was going to say the North student section's taking a couple minutes off. Rest their feet. Another whole game let get ahead. Got to pace yourself. There's Renzi in there. As long as we got five of each color out there. I'll see now South keeps pressing. So then, you know, then you don't mind when North's still pressing because you're Just still pressing. <laughs> it's kind of like a mutual respect thing. Yeah. And, uh.
Dugopolsky has it on the wing looking inside. Couldn't find anybody open. The defense by file on uh, Paris. Keeper from getting inside the lane. And again, North displaying a lot of patience on offense. Yeah, kind of how they started the game. File. Way to move the feet, Lauren. Dugopolsky feels pretty comfortable going to her left, gets fouled. There you get a good shot of some of the fan. Jason Lederman, Jeff Risto up there at the top. Yep. Jason, the athletic director here. And Jeff does a lot of helping out on running the, scoreboards. Uh, he does and Sims' and job when it's the girls' yeah, games, yep. I believe. Yep. I think he did some North, uh, pardon me, not North games, some uh, Sheboygan A's games last summer, field announcer. He also uh, graduated of South High School. Just into the game now, Jordan Eisner, number 20, gets a rebound for South. Ball was tipped away, Van Sluis gets it. Takes it hard to the basket and scores. Yeah. She has eight points. Getting down to three minutes now. North again uh, trying to patiently run their offense, get a good shot, and they get a great back screen. Dugopolsky got uh, caught a little too far behind the backboard and uh, couldn't get the shot in, but a nicely run play other than that. Power with their sixth rebound there, Marty. Having a good shooting night too. Five of seven. Schaefer working hard trying to get the ball. Free almost with an interception. And Bauer committing the foul on Eisner. Eisner will go to the line. Bonus free throws. You get a good shot of uh, Jordan. And again, North patiently running the offense, trying to run clock. <laughs> Russ Miller saying, don't you dare commit a foul, Eisner. <laughs> <laughs> well, free bro Lizzie Free broke open underneath the basket, but the Paris didn't throw her the ball. Under two minutes. Travel? You know, why are you dribbling into two salt players? Eisner will have a chance, uh, pardon me, Suntag will have a chance. She gets two free throws. Get it in there. Ooh, got the nice bounce. Fifty-eight thirty-three. 
We have a full timeout, guys, so let's take a short break with uh, 150 remaining in the ball game. South with a, pardon me, North with a 25 point lead. South High School's Acuity Fieldhouse. Uh, Thanks for dinner, Marty. Little cousins. Well, tonight. the dinner was on Carrie. The sodas Thanks. were on me. Thank you. And Carrie Kautzer for the subs from Cousins today. Well, we always kind of do a tra tradition. We do North South games. And Richard, we got one more soda left on there for you. Probably shouldn't start this one now, but I'm thirsty. <laughs> Back to game action. Good help defense. Schaefer's shot is no good. File. Pardon me, that wasn't file. That was Cheyenne Welch for two. And a girl. In their last north south game. South still pressing. Good job by the North ladies. I was just looking up at the scoreboard, Chris. Uh, Cheyenne Welsh's number is not up there. No, they don't have like half the people. Schaefer on a driving layup scores. Another timeout by South, and Chris is like, why? Exactly. <laughs> One minute and two seconds left. 21 point lead. Still gonna work on their press. I had mentioned earlier that uh, you know when you're not real good ball handlers, it's hard to run the break. But uh, there have been instances tonight when uh, South has run the break uh, really nice and uh, made some good passes. It just hasn't been consistent enough. Right. Well, they had 41 turnovers, Marty, and oh man, and that's just not gonna get it done. Game is 32 minutes. That means uh, they're averaging about a turnover and a quarter per minute. You see Coach uh, Thomas talking to the officials. I think it has to do with the way North uh, is dribbling, you know, and they're clearing out with the uh, offhand. It's okay to get the arm out there, it's just uh, when you extend it that it's illegal. Good hustle by Dugopolsky. Moletsky, out of bounds. There's a lot of fans getting ready to come in. Saw some familiar faces out there too, Chris. Yep. Jim Deppies was out there. Yeah, the girl get it in there. Eisner. 39 for South, 58 for North. Another layup, that one no good. Wide open attempt that time by Carly Wyman, but she couldn't get it in. Tipped out by North. South will get it back. There's 29.9 seconds remaining. Schaefer had it dump inside. Layup attempt is no good. Again, a wide open shot. Cammy Feld not being able to get it in that time. Rugopolsky uh, dragged the foot. Another turnover for North.
North is going to run their record to 14 and 2, 8 and 2 in conference. South will drop to a 9 and 7. Overall, 4 and 7 in uh, conference play. Schaefer couldn't get it to go at the buzzer, and that's the ball game. The North Lady Raiders a winner, 58 to 39. Chris is going to see if he can get a couple of the uh, North girls and do some interviews, and then uh, we'll get ready for the uh, second game of our doubleheader tonight when the boys play. Want to help? Make it easy on everyone. Send cash, the most effective form of disaster relief. CIDI.org. You can't text and pay attention to the world around you, and you definitely can't text and drive. Every year, deaths due to distracted and negligent driving are increasing. In fact, while drunk driving rates have dropped greatly, negligent driving fatalities have skyrocketed. Find out more at negligentdriving.com. Each small beauty we experience, each discovery we enjoy, is our responsibility to share with generations to come. Always watch for people walking and biking. It's Wisconsin law to give bikes at least three feet when passing. In Wisconsin, the laws are the same for bicyclists and motorists. So if you bike, ride with the traffic and obey stop signs and lights. People ride bicycles to go places, get exercise, reduce pollution, save money, and have fun. Watch for people riding bikes when you're driving. Share and be aware, we're all responsible. Back at South High School's Acuity Fieldhouse, let's give you some uh, scoring from this uh, first game. For uh, South, Rachel Van Sluis had uh, eight points. Molly Burkhardt had eight points. Emily Schaefer had four. Those were the uh, main scorers for uh, the Lady Red Wings. For North, it was a three-headed monster. Lauren Salzbrenner. Norris' leading scorer had 18 points. Morgan Paris had uh, 13 points. Maddie Bauer had 12 points. And Lizzie Free, the uh, point guard for uh, North, had uh, 7 points and uh, chipped in a good floor game for uh, the Lady Raiders as they won it 58 to 39. A lot of turnovers, Chris had mentioned, I believe. Uh, South had 41 turnovers when he uh, left the booth to uh, get a couple interviews, but uh, it was pretty much all North. They built the lead as the game went on, and uh, they won it by a score of 58 to 39. Our uh, second game, of course, will feature the boys. You see them out there warming up, and uh, we look forward to giving you that ball game. North's record now is uh, 14 and two, seven and eight and two in conference. South drops to a nine and seven overall, and four and seven in conference. Uh, we didn't do this uh, during the course of the first game, but our crew tonight is Richard Bartson up here with uh, Chris and I, running the top camera. Eric Wiesman is uh, doing the floor camera chores tonight, and in the truck we have a double-headed monster of our own. Kerry Kautzer and Scott Mailoff doing the directing, running the uh, graphics and uh, replay action. A great job by those guys and my partner Chris Wright during that first game. In the boys game, North comes in with a stellar record. They are 14-3, uh, 8-2 in conference. 
South uh, having a tough goal of it this year, and a little surprising. I thought they were going to be a better, have a better record, but they come in four and twelve, three and eight in conference, and uh, they'll be looking. I'll, I'll tell you, a good shot in the arm for the Southsiders would be to, to would be to beat this uh, highly ranked uh, North. We're back here with four Lady Raiders here. We'll start with Maddie Bauer here. Maddie, you, you guys came out right away, created a lot of turnovers, a lot of easy baskets for you guys. Yeah, it was really big for us to do that. We've been focusing on our defense and our pressuring, and I think we showed a really good job of that tonight. Yeah, you guys really set traps early, which really, you know, started the game out for you guys and, you know, make, created such easy chances. And, and, you know, finally, especially in the second half, the basket started going in. Yeah. Yeah, we were struggling in the beginning, but I think we, we kept it together and we, we focused and we pushed each other and that's what that's what really made it go. So what's your experience here in these north-south games? How does it feel for you? It's great. We've never lost the south with me on our, my team, so I'm happy and I'm excited about it. Uh, uh, is that different practicing during the week for you, for getting excited for these weeks, or is that uh, just like any other game? No, no, it's definitely exciting. We had a pep rally. So, you've had a good couple years here. What's your experience been like over the last two years? What are you, some of your fondest memories of, of playing at North High School? Well, I have to say the North South games are definitely the biggest and most exciting wins for us because there's always so many fans and it's always a good time. Well, congratulations to you. You can stay here. Katie, you guys are really deep. You have a bench that, that's really strong. Everybody contributes on this team, practice or whatever, and... As a bench player, what do you guys talk about or, you know, to help the starters and things? Um, well, we always need to make sure that we're talking and cheering our teammates on and make sure that we're always ready to go in case it's ever our turn to come in the game. And we practice just as hard as everyone does and we encourage just as much and we're all equally important on this team. Well, I watched when some of the people, you know, you get the bench players that come off the bench, they seem to... They're setting right in the traps and doing the same things as, you know, the starters are and you never know when somebody's going to be counted on. Yep, we definitely work on that in practice that everyone is just as important and everyone needs to be able to know how to run the plays and set the traps and do everything. So um, that's just basically what we focus on. I asked you the same question. Or, oh, you're all going to get the same question. What's your north-south experiences? What, what do you like about these games? I just like it because everyone, like it seems like everyone from the town is here and everyone cheers for both sides and most of the comments aren't negative, most are really positive and it's just a really fun atmosphere to play in. Summarize you playing for North High School, what it's been like or some of the things that you can remember about playing for North. Our team is always strongly bonded and we always, always get along and it's just a really positive team to be a part of, no matter if you're a starter, a bench player, or even like a manager. Everyone is just as equally important, and it's a really good experience. Well, congratulations to you, things like that. Well, man, uh, that's the same thing. You know, being a, uh, coming off the bench and contribute, you're like the sixth, seventh person. You're expected to contribute just like everybody else. Oh, it was just a lot of fun out there tonight, and being able to step up and give it my all was a good time, and the bench played great, too. Yeah, tough game the other night, Tuesday. How was practice on Wednesday? Um, we just recapped and got everything back to normal, and we talked about what happened, and we just really took it from, as a learning experience. Well, that's good. Uh, what are your experiences about North-South games? What do, you, what do you kind of remember about these? Um, I just always remember the great rivalry, and it's always just a lot of fun, and wearing a lot of blue and gold on Fridays and the pep rallies. Oh, that's nice. That's a good thing to think about. You don't. You for, people sometimes forget about all the how the school gets involved. You playing for North High School? What's it been like? It's been a great time. I love it. <laughs> yeah. Anything that you guys do, like eating something special or something you guys do goofy as as players or something? Um, we have a pasta party Friday night before every North South, and last night it was just fun for team bonding, and it was a great time. Who cooked? Um, Mrs. Maletsky, Thank you. <laughs> So it was pretty good? <laughs> well, congratulations to you, Megan. Uh, like I said, tough loss, Morgan, for you guys on Tuesday. And you guys still have a chance at a conference championship. Rebounding, and I said one of the things you have to do is look past Tuesday night, get ready for tonight, and I thought you girls did. Yeah, we just wanted to focus our frustration from the loss on Tuesday into this win tonight, and we just wanted to come out hard and 
just show a statement. We just wanted to give a statement here ourselves tonight. Yeah, very disappointing the other day, but like I said, you're only one game back, and if you run the table, you can still win a conference championship. What would that feel like for you? Oh, a conference championship would mean, it would mean the world. That's what we've been working for the past four years, and we've come up short the past couple years, and this year it just be sweet to finish out my senior year with the conference championship. Yeah. The other night, you couldn't make many threes. Tonight, you guys were like 6 of 10 or something. The other day, you couldn't throw it in the ocean. Just got to keep shooting up there, huh? Yeah, we just got to practice and just took a lot of shots, and we just got to have the mindset that each shot is going to go in. We can't worry about the previous shot that didn't go in. Now, you've been involved in many of these North-South games. Morgan, what's it felt like to you with the experience here, or is it different? Or Just tell me how you feel about North-South uh, games. The experience in North-South is great. It's just like a different atmosphere. It's a normal game, but there's just so much more on the line with North-South, and it's kind of sad just thinking this is going to be my last one, but it was a great run. What about playing in front of all the people and things? Um, I don't really think about it. You pretty much just zone all the people out. It's kind of tough to hear all the plays you're trying to run, but it's just great to like see everyone come out to watch the people, watch the girls play. I'm going to ask you the last question. I asked the other ladies, how's it, your experience been at North High School? Things that you're going to remember when when it's all said and done. I'm just going to miss the girls, like the team in North High School. We're all so close. And it's just like a great program, and I'll just miss everything about it. I love playing for North High School. Some people don't realize, too, all the work you guys put in in the summer as well. Yeah, we play uh, two, in two leagues, and we do uh, lifting Tuesday and Thursday morning. We just try to get each like as most prepared as we can for the season. Yeah, some people don't realize it's uh, a whole year. Well, congratulations, ladies, on a great victory. Uh, when we return, we'll send it back to Marty. All righty, great job on the interviews, Chris. Uh, he might be back with four more girls. Uh, one more time, final from the girls game, Sheboygan North, 58, Sheboygan South, 39.